Hello everybody, and welcome to a world of assassination in 2016's Hitman trademark. This is the latest in IO Interactive's Hitman franchise, uh, which many people basically thought was dead after Absolution took the series in a weird direction, but uh, then this game happened, and it's real good. It came out uh, last year to a little bit of controversy because Square Enix decided to chop up the uh, contents of the game and release it piecemeal uh, as an episodic title, but a lot of people were didn't have a lot of faith in that. But as it turns out, the episodic model worked incredibly well for this game, and it's really good. Uh, joining me for this is, as usual... Hello, Fed. How's it going? <laughs> okay, so... This is actually my first Hitman game, so but it's I've had a lot of fun playing it. Um, how much have you played the Hitman series, Jabo? Um, I I played a lot of Absolution, uh, which is probably gonna get me a little bit of flack. But other than that, I've kind of been silent on most of the Hitman games. Oh, okay then. But I don't know. It's it's hard to go back to some of them, you know. Yeah, the, the older games look a little dated. Mm -hmm. Also, as an aside, since this is the first thing of the game we're actually seeing, that uh, text should say 20 years ago, but that's just a minor detail. Anyway, this is Mr. 47. Just dropped off on this helipad in the, on this mountain. This, oh, this is... is definitely the Swiss Alps. <laughs> I really like how this game starts, actually. Like, just being dropped off here, because, uh... Where the progress is behind Mr. 47, but you can't actually go that way unless you, uh, can demonstrate that you know how to move both Mr. 47 and the camera. Majestic, isn't it? I'm Diana. I'll take you to your quarters. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the Handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Hardly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like, taking lives? Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Are you sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? Apathetic and unresponsive? No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see a possibility where others see limitation. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. Welcome to Advanced Training. Your first mission originally took place in Sydney, Australia. The target was Calvin Ritter, also known as the Sparrow. Master thief for hire, specializing in rare and priceless art. Our agent cleverly infiltrated Ritter's private yacht during a social gathering and discreetly eliminated him without any of the guests noticing. Now you will do the same. Oh, and don't worry about the training operatives. All weapons are simulated. Good luck, Initiate. So somehow this, somehow this organization has gathered a hundred people to get on a fake boat and guard a fake boat area. Th they're all actors, don't worry. <laughs> anyway... This the, we're now that we're in gameplay. Uh, I I feel free to explain that Hitman is a wide open stealth sandbox game where you ha you're given an objective, usually kill someone, and 
You just have to figure out how to get there and how to do it. So, paramount to that is uh, getting disguises. So, right now, since we're in the very first mission of the game, the game is going to uh, railroad us into figure, uh, clearing this mission in a very specific way. So, right now, we just got to follow the uh, guide points. Uh, in this game, uh, NPCs don't really hear your footsteps. So you could just sprint right up to this guy and he wouldn't notice a thing as he just works on this wooden engine. <laughs> also, if you're behind someone and you uh, subdue them in some way, it will generally be silent. So don't worry about getting detected if you're behind someone unless someone is looking at you. But uh, since we did just knock that guy out, we have to move the body in in so uh, no one can find him. You put on his clothes. You know, I'm going to be really happy someday when Hitman is used as, like, the security guard training file. <laughs> That'd be pretty great. <laughs> like, uh, if you see somebody suspicious with a tattoo on the back of their forehead, or back of their head, uh, you might want to pay a little attention. <laughs> but yeah, disguises are... Uh, are very important to getting around in this game because, as Diana just said, a lot of people just tend to see the uniforms and not faces. The people who do recognize faces are uh, helpfully indicated by the white dot above their heads. It's also important to note that each uniform or disguise you get grants you different levels of access, so to speak. So, right, right. So a police officer uniform might not get you everywhere that a mechanic's uniform might. Yeah. Like, we're, I'm actually about to just demonstrate that. So, we have to go follow uh, Mr. Ritter. Or not. Or, yeah. But we, we're not allowed to go upstairs. We're not allowed to go upstairs because we're a mechanic, and mechanics aren't allowed up there. That's just racist. So, <laughs> so we need to get another disguise that is allowed up there. So... I'm just gonna fix this <laughs> meal, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take the yacht crew disguise, but first we're gonna make sure no one can find this body, even though I don't think anyone actually goes in the kitchen. You know, it's a well placed wrench. <laughs> yeah, I was actually looking for the wrench right, so I could take it with me, but I couldn't find it, but then I realized, oh, it's in the pot. Okay. It's perfectly calibrated. The meal <laughs> has been adjusted to the right taste buds. <laughs> Anyway, I looked over there at the fire extinguisher and debated taking that with me, but I decided that I'd just follow this by the book. So now that we're a mechanic, or sorry, we're a yacht crew, we're allowed up here. But, uh, Mr. Ritter will, will see through our disguise, so we have to go maintain a low profile by tending this bar. For some reason, this prevents him from recognizing us. Even if you were to look straight at us. As an aside, I do like how the uh, basically everything in this mission looks is a uh, looks like a wooden prop. <laughs> I think somewhere in this mission are some documents that say that this whole ship was a set sold by IKEA or something. <laughs> okay, someone needs to find that. Yeah, I need. I was looking for that, uh, but I couldn't find it. But I'll have to go take another look later. Like you're doing a hundred percent run of this game, right? Uh, we'll see. You're, you're, we're doing one hundred percent up here. Good of you to fly down. Can I offer you a drink? Oh no, thank you. No, uh, not before six. My wife is very insistent. Anyway, Mr. Ritter is meeting with uh this dapper young. I was about to call him a young man. This dapper gentleman. With with Mr. Whipped. Yes, <laughs> please. Yeah, so... They're gonna go off to uh, Mr. Ritter's office, so... Let's follow. Also, for some reason, when you leave that bar, the camera decides to just pan over to, like... The center of the deck? Which is a little weird. <laughs> anyway, I'm kind of stuttering my steps because... Mr. 47 walks a lot faster than everybody else. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> so 
So we just need to sneak into the office and uh, conveniently there is a an open window right here. Oh, this game has an autosave system too. Um, in case you uh, mess up, you can just roll back to a previous save. It also has a, it also has a fairly, also has a fairly generous save system in and of itself. Yeah, you can make a save wherever you want. So I'm not really sure what was going on with this meeting. I thought uh, the Sparrow was an art thief, but now it, they're talking about like a reactor? It's clearly the the recipe to Crystal Pepsi. <laughs> anyway, uh, after a certain point, the game just tells you to kill Calvin Ritter, and you can't really do that cleanly without killing Mr. Norfolk, so yeah. Just gotta do that, and let, now we gotta get out of here. We cool. can't just leave from the gangway, though, because someone down there will spot us. Collateral so, damage is such a shame. Yeah. Diana doesn't actually say that unless uh, you've killed somebody who's not the target. Hmm. So I guess they set up the uh, first kill like that so to make sure that uh, you would know that the ICA doesn't expect collateral. Right, right. Anyway, if we're a mechanic, we can just walk off perfectly fine and... Uh, that little door icon over there in the distance that we're coming closer on will signify where an exit is. Usually there will be like two or three exits per mission, maybe a couple more. For this f first mission, there are two exits, I believe. Yeah. But yeah, that's it for our first, for uh, the training mission. Perhaps it would be better to just... Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. I will take full responsibility. Very well. It's your show. Welcome back, Initiate. As an ICA agent, every challenge you face can be overcome in multiple ways. Complete this exercise again, this time attacking it from a different angle. Vary your strategy. Improvise. So before we're allowed to actually move on, we, we're thrown back into the first mission again, except we're not guided. We have to go figure out another way of killing Mr. Ritter. So the game has a, a, a very extensive challenge system that basically just kind of points you in the direction you may or may not want to go to for getting kills. Uh, so here on the table are a couple tools that are going to be really helpful, such as coins. Coins are really good in this game. They're um, they're an instant distraction tool. Just throw a coin, and whoever's nearby will just immediately like forget about whatever they were doing and look at the coin. Yeah, coins are pretty abusive in the Hitman series. Yeah, like if you play Metal Gear, then they're they're magazines. Just throw them and distract people with them. Anyway, I'm gonna take this security guard disguise. I like I, I love how nobody notices. Like I know it's <laughs> I know it's a small thing to nitpick and stuff, but it's funny to me. It's an AI quirk. Anyway, I'm throwing a coin over there to uh, get that guard to come investigate, because there's a challenge if you get a guard to go find a gun. And well, I kind of just left that the guard's gun over there for that reason specifically. <laughs> Anyway, the lockpick is, uh, takes about maybe two seconds to pick a lock, and it's fairly quick, but if someone sees you doing it, then you will immediately become suspicious, and you don't really want that. So, 
I forget what I was looking for here, but we're just taking a little tour of the uh, the underside of the deck here. Yeah, uh, it's, it's always helpful to explore in these games. If you peek over here, then you can get a yacht crew disguise, but I would not recommend wearing it down here because yacht crew is actually not supposed to be down here. It's fairly quiet on this side, though. It's... Yeah, but there's a handful of security guards, and they will uh, get on your case if they see yacht crew down here. Hmm. You know what? I was probably looking for the document saying that this this whole <laughs> set was from Ikea. <laughs> but I couldn't find it, so whatever. Clearly, someone put a lot of work into this. <laughs> yeah. We got this shit under control, man. Man, I want a giant fake yacht from IKEA. <laughs> That'd be a great party piece. Okay, so security's loud upstairs, but Mr. Ritter's bodyguard will see through the disguise. So let's not go immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has ever said that. <laughs> ever. <laughs> so one one helpful thing this game does is uh I guess certain NPCs will react to disguises you're wearing to tell you whether or not it's okay for you to be in a certain area. So that security guard that just proclaimed that security detail rules, uh that's because we're allowed up here. But if we he he was also the guy who told us that uh Grease monkeys weren't allowed up there when we were a mechanic. So, I I decided to leave the um, fire extinguisher, th extinguisher there because I had a plan for it. But, uh, for some reason, the plan I wanted to do didn't really trigger. I'm trying to figure out what your plan is. Okay, well, this isn't going to come up for a really long time, but... Fire extinguisher explosions, like, if they are the thing that actually kill uh, the target, then it's considered an accident. <laughs> Even if you're the one who set off the fire extinguisher by, you know, like, blowing up. Right, right. I didn't realize it. Yeah. So, I wanted to get an accident kill with uh, with it, but to do that, Mr. Redder needs to go to his office, and to d for that to happen, uh, Mr. Norfolk needs to go talk to him, but... Mr. Norfolk never actually went to go talk to him. Oh, what a jerk. So, plan B, we're going to take this crowbar, or one of the two crowbars I have. You can pick up multiples of any item you find, by the way. Well, not any item, but most items. And, uh, we're just going to drop this boat on him. It's also, and, uh, you can also put an explosive there and use it that way. Or you could shoot the boat a couple times. Either or, any or, yeah, any of those will work. But yeah, this uh, helicopter here at the top is also an escape route. Oh, so there's three then. No, that was the second one. Yeah, but there's a third one on the at the docks. Is there? Yeah. Huh, I don't remember. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm just showing off that you can uh, poison the wine too to demo demo a couple other. KO methods. Uh, the wine, or sorry, the rat poison comes from downstairs, like on, uh, in a room right next to where that one mechanic was just kind of rolling paint on the boards. Mm -hmm. So, the poison I found was just emetic rat poison, which just uh, it just makes folks really need to vomit. <laughs> So he's gonna go off and uh, find a bathroom. Camera, stop doing that. Normally, when people go off to vomit like that, they uh, they stop being able to be suspicious of of you. But Mr. Ritter will always be suspicious, I guess. Mr. So yeah, Ritter's we're just gonna follow special. him. We're just gonna follow him in here and drown him. It, this it, is considered a silent kill, by the way. <laughs> Oh, can't you hear the music in the background on, <laughs> on this yacht? <laughs> Should also be uh, pointed out that Absolution 
had I don't know if they uh, if it was a change specifically for Absolution and then changed back for this, but Absolution had a limited amount of focus you could use to oh yeah to determine who was able to spot you, who was an enemy, and so on. Oh yeah, that's another thing I forgot. Yeah, so to the, mention the fact that they got rid of that in this game makes it infinitely better because you can always choose to use your focus if you want to and. If that's your crutch, then hey, that's how you enjoy this game, whatever, do you. But the, yeah. the fact that you don't have a limited amount also makes it easier for, you know, easier uh, players with uh, maybe not the same skills, I guess, or the same knowledge of the maps and the gameplay. Right, right. So, yeah, this game has the, um, the modern game design thing or like the modern game feature where you can basically see through the terrain uh absolution had it too but it had a really weird implementation where it was tied to a meter and you burned up meter when you used it and you burned up meter real fast yeah and if you want more um if you want more instinct meter then you have to go do unstealthy things like take out uh, guards or enemies yeah it was a really weird design decision. It, yeah, it was basically counter to what you would want to do in a Hitman game. Yeah. So, right now, I'm gonna go steal Mr. Norfolk's disguise. That was also a uh, stealth kill, wasn't it? Not a kill, just a silent attack, well, because yeah. it was from behind. <laughs> if you have a weapon and you uh, attack from behind, then instead of like subduing, then you'll just You'll just bash them over the head with it. It's considered a silent kill. So if I were holding that fire extinguisher, I could just beat him over the head with it. <laughs> just club him. Yeah. But yeah, Mr. Norfolk is uh, probably the best disguise to use here because no one will actually care about you. Because no one actually knows what you're supposed to look like. The organization said you were older, but... Eh, whatever. Hey, 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 I have no hair. Isn't that a sign of my age? <laughs> also, I think I might have gone a little too far ahead of, uh... Calvin over there. Is nature calling? I'll be in my office. Come by when you're ready. This is what I mean when I say, uh... Um... You walk way faster than everybody else. Yeah. It's really easy to lose or uh, to break scripting if you go way too fast. Mr. Norfolk. Okay, I'm just making sure no one's going to follow us in. <laughs> so I'm going to use the fiber wire to kill him this time. Just Just because I can. And because when you kill someone using the fiber wire the game will automatically just put him into a drag state. So you just go f make your way to, like, a body container. Yeah, fiber wire is really useful. Yeah. It's also considerably faster than just subduing. Anyway, that's about it for, um, the first mission. So, yeah. Join us next time, and we'll, we'll see the next mission. And we'll get to kill a lot more people. Oh yeah, you're gonna do a, a run with with uh, guns loud, right? Like weapons. Maybe not for the tra <laughs> maybe not for the training missions, but uh, maybe for some of the later ones.